Hello. So, I went to a fantasy ball. I was invited by Second Star Events to be a guest. So I flew to Denver, met up with my friends at the airport, and we had a lovely little chat in the car ride back to Lauren's house. It's always fun to see my fantasy-loving friends that live far away from me. We also saw a bunch of deer on the side of the highway. It was very cute. And once we got to Lauren's house, we started having some drinks and playing games. And to the ball! To the ball! <laughs> Lauren and Joe also recently got a puppy. Her name is Rosie, named after Rosie Cotton from Lord of the Rings. And she's just the cutest little bean. Look at her. I wasn't expecting to see so much wildlife while we were here because we didn't really even go out that much, but we stayed inside because um, it was a little bit chilly and we played some games. Um. What? <laughs> oh, oh my god. I know it. Water grade? <laughs> no. Oh my god. I'm. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Yoshi! Yoshi! Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Muggle. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Wow. wow. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. Grimace. <laughs> Lauren also showed me how if you pretend you have a tiny person trapped in your mouth, Rosie will try to rescue them. You should be a ventriloquist. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna get him out. There's a person in your mouth. <laughs> what a little noodle. She's just such a silly girl. <laughs> Lauren is also great at cooking and baking, and she made us waffles for our first breakfast, and they were delicious. It was so fun to just hang out with people that I don't get to see very often, have some coffee, have some waffles, and just talk about random things. Of course, it is the Rocky Mountains, and similar to where I live in Utah, the weather is subject to very quick change, and it just started snowing, even though it wasn't supposed to in the weather app or anything, but we had a good time going outside and playing in the snow. We even got to see a little squirrel. <laughs> we took a minute to just sit and chat and decide exactly what we were going to be wearing to the ball the next day. Lauren uh, and I kind of didn't know what we were wearing until the day before, so we sat and had a little audience and try on moment with all the accessories and things. I also helped Ellie read for an audition, which was fun. What are we doing, Ellie? What are you doing? Your audition. What's it for? Romeo went and Julia. Oh! It, like, I'll keep an eye on it if I can. Ellie and Olivia went to a little park to see some of the Colorado nature and we stayed home and had a very intense few rounds of Mario Kart. It's locked in. I can unlock. How do you like that? So that means we probably need to get there by 4.30. Does it scare you in your sleep? It did. That one scares me. <laughs> it was illuminating the... She took a photo of it. It's so scary. Oh my god. Let no, me see. Let me see. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. That was our view last Sleep night. with this. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't cut yourself, though. The next morning was the day of the ball, so we spent a little bit of time having some more <laughs> breakfast, playing with the puppies, and just chilling before we had to get ready. What are you doing, Leo? Oh my gosh, she's crazy. Once again, Lauren made us a delicious breakfast this time. It was quiche. Delicious breakfast queen. They call me mother. Slay. We started filming some transition videos that we wanted to finish while we were in our costumes at the ball, while we still had time before getting ready. Baby. The cutest baby. <laughs> Once we filmed our before videos, we started figuring out how our outfits were gonna go on and making some got to. doing our makeup, putting our jewelry on, and it was almost time to go, but we did need to eat a snack before we left because we were gonna have another few hours of making videos before the ball even started. <laughs> The venue was a little bit far from Lauren's house, but look how cute it was. Um, when we got there, there was even a bunny, just like a rogue bunny, grazing in the grass underneath this blossoming tree. So instantly felt like we were being transported into a fairy tale. And they let us get ready in our own little secluded room, which was so much fun. We all helped each other squire up with our armor and fix our outfits, pin things in place, make sure it's all ready to go before we went out to film some content. I personally feel like getting ready for a ball, a party, the Ren Fair, a convention, whatever you're doing is so much fun if you do it with all your friends. I would highly recommend getting ready together because it's just so much fun. I don't know what it is about putting on silly little costumes and makeup with your friends, but it's kind of just healing to the inner child, I suppose. Once we all took turns playing Squire and getting everybody all armored up, we were ready to go make some more content at the venue before the event actually started. It was very on brand that we all came in dark colors with armor and then Sherston in her typical white iridescent fairy look. It was so cute. Once the ball had officially started, we had some fun dancing. They actually played some pretty funny music that I wasn't expecting, like, you know, the Smash Mouth song from Shrek. It was so cool to get to hang out with my Utah friends who I get to see pretty often, uh, mingling with you know, my friends that flew in that I don't see super often, as well as people we've never met before that we just see through a screen. I think this video is one of my favorite ones from the entire night because just the slow panning around to like everyone dancing in their little duos is so cute. I just, I really like this video. And then of course, um, me and Lauren kind of, you know, cursed it a little bit at the end here, but you, you gotta do what you gotta do when they're playing Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Nothing quite like the gray skin chainmail gives you. Yeah, if you've never worn chainmail on your skin before, be warned you will be fully gray by the end of the night. As a guest of honor, I was allowed to judge in the costume contest as well as my friends Athena and Christian who staged a fake fight. Y'all just look so together. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. You can't do that though, because I chose I chose her. Okay, but I was scared. No, I chose her. Athena, <laughs> Athena, that's my pick. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs>
needless to say, that was a very fun part of the night, and meeting Christian was just a blast. I love seeing my friends from the internet in person. So if you don't know how to dance, um, definitely dance with a person who does ballroom, like Shirsten. I took a little bit of ballroom dance in high school, but I remember pretty much none of it. And she made me feel like I actually knew what I was doing, which was great, but now I have decided I need to take more ballroom classes because it just, it was so much fun and I would love to get better at it. Um, we accidentally had a circle formed around us while we were dancing and uh, that was a lot of fun. A little bit nerve wracking, I guess, because everyone was just watching us to dance, but it was a lot of fun and I think it was a great memory that I will remember forever. This ball was so much fun and I had a blast making silly content with my friends. Um, big blue. I also finally got to meet Sue and make a video with her, which I've been wanting to do forever. This ball had live singing. <laughs> They had a man doing portraits. Gentlemen, <laughs> good job. We're, we're honored. Wow, I can't tell. I love it. That's perfect. They also had a live painter booths where artists were selling certain things. They had a sword fighting room, which I actually did not get a chance to go into. They had a sensory room there, and I'm sure lots of other things that I missed. So I absolutely would love to attend another Second Star Events Ball. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.